Ladies and gents, will you please give a huge welcome to the stage your host and compare for tonight's show, Jocelyn G. I'm here at a fundraising event of the century called Stand Up Zimbabwe. It's all in aid of Capod's work in Zimbabwe. Now I know you've seen it all on the news, we know that Zimbabwe is in a very bad way. And um, so instead of just sitting on your bums all day, we've got lots of people coming down who are actually going to do something about it. So um, I'm hoping that um, J-Lo and Beyonce turn up like they said they would, um, just to sing the Stand Up Zimbabwe song, which goes something like... <clears throat> Yeah, Zimbabwe, all the way from Zimbabwe. Um, I'm from a nice part of Zimbabwe called Wimbledon. Um, <laughs> some of you may have heard of it. We have a tennis competition now and again. I didn't know the plight of Zimbabwe until um, I was sent some lovely information about 80% unemployed and stuff, which, to be honest, is a negative thing. Although I'm from the northeast of England, a lot of people looked at that and thought, wow, get your passport, pet, let's move to Zimbabwe, we've got more chance of getting a job. Six, seven, eight, and then you go Zimbabwe, and then you go Gascoigne, you go Mugabe, and you go a shit footballer. Right, so here we go. No, I, I am, in fact, I'm quite a vocal member of the anti-war community, uh, by which I mean I joined a Facebook group. Um, <laughs> see, it's easier nowadays. The old days, you had to go on a march and all that sort of thing, and now you just click accept, uh, which is <laughs> handy, isn't it? Frees up time for online war games, I find, so that's quite... <laughs> It's quite useful. There's an awareness uh, that there's a crisis, but not to the extent of sending emergency aid or, you know, that, that level of, of crisis. And I certainly wasn't aware of it being yeah. as bad as I now know it is. So it's nice yeah. to be able to do something, you know, and to give. Because I can't give a lot of money, but I can give time. She could if she wanted to. She's just tired. Very rich. She's loaded. I don't know I don't know what on earth is Zimbabwe? Oh, you mean Rhodesia. <laughs> I was five years old. That was my first ever performance. Five years old. I was in my school uh, nativity play and I played the part of Joseph in my school nativity. Uh, Joseph Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I was a bit of a method actor in those days. <laughs> This is a story of my friend Neil Hannon, who got his head stuck in an antique cannon. Now, this is absolutely true. My mate Neil looked at a cannon and just thought, my head's definitely not as big as a cannonball. But I'm going to need some evidence. <laughs> but can we give up to the exercise tonight? Carl Donnelly! Hilarious. Rosie and Helen in all their disguises. It's Rosie brilliant. and Helen. Stefano Paolo and Paulina. It's fantastic, Emma. Paul Carenza. Yes. Stephen Carlin. I'm brilliant, yeah. Patrick Moynihan. Great. Oh, 